Got a little bit of a challenge here today. I need to cut out a whole bunch of pieces like this. I need 16 pieces that are this size. 22 and a half degree angles on each end. This is one and 17 and seven sixteenths of an inch wide. You know, that's a pretty small piece to cut. And you know, this guy right here, it's responsible for removing about 50,000 digits off of human beings every year. Okay, maybe not this brand. It is a saw stuff, but you get my drift. It's a pretty dangerous machine, so I have to figure out a way to make these cuts easily and safely. Looking at my 360 sled, I can definitely use it to cut these pieces out. That's not a problem. The problem is, how am I going to clamp this piece into place? The way the sled currently is configured, I can't do that, so I have to make a few changes. I think the solution to my problem is this right here. If this groove is closer to the edge of the sled, then I can use my dovetail clamp and just clamp that material in there. So what I've done is I have taken my, uh, my miter bar out of the bottom of my sled and I have marked where I want to add the miter bar. So I'm going to install the miter bar right about here and then once it's installed, I'm going to run my sled through the saw blade and I'm going to trim this excess material off. That will make the edge of the board right about here, which should be perfect for clamping this piece into place and cutting it out safely. Well, I've drilled my holes into the sled and I have mounted the zero play onto the back of it. So now I'm going to put it in the slot, raise up my saw blade and rip this puppy to the right width. The next thing I need to do is create an off-feed table that is also zero clearance. And the way I'm going to accomplish that is I drilled a couple holes into this board and you'll notice these two miter stops. Well, I had that board on the miter stops and then I set the fence. I'm going to end up ripping off, oh, just about an eighth of an inch off of this board, maybe a quarter inch off this board, but that will give me a zero clearance uh, off off flow table and then the miter stops will lock it in place so I don't have to have any annoying clamps in the way. Oh, hells yeah, I love it when a plan comes together. Now I got a zero clearance insert for my entire uh, sled. I like this. Well, everything is set up. That piece of wood's clamped into place. My uh, off-feed board isn't going to move, so let's see how well this works. Oh, hells yeah. Now that's how you cut something that small quickly, easily, and accurately. Well, that worked out very well. All four of these pieces are identical. When you hold them all together, you won't fill any edges. It's like they're just one solid piece of wood. This is really a pretty cool, pretty cool way to cut things like this. I like it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I've gave you some ideas on ways you can improve the accuracy of the cuts you make at the table saw while also protecting your own personal safety. Now if you do this though, please don't pull a Curtis. Remember when I said each one of these cuts had to be 22 and a half degrees? Well I do, and you know what? They're not. To set my fence up I had to first set my digital angle finder, and to set it I had to take 90 degrees and subtract 22 and a half. Let's see, 90 minus 20 is 70, minus 2 is 68, minus 0.5 is not 68.5. Each one of my cuts is off by one degree. Now you might not think that one degree is that much, but when you make this many cuts, obviously it adds up. Fortunately though, I can recover from this mistake fairly easily because there's not a whole lot of material involved and my sleds are already set up. Still, if I'm going to earn it, I'm going to rock it. And if I can't subtract 22 and a half from 90, I have earned it. <sighs> have an ordinary day.